It's Brad's Laboratory. We went to Cache Creek this summer in July. We camped and mined for gold. A short hike up the hill from the camping area, we find a sign saying no digging is allowed beyond this point. A bit further along, I find concrete foundations and an old rubber conveyor belt. These are remnants from the mining that took place here at some point. These ruins look newer than when hydraulic mining ended here in 1911. But concrete has been around since well before then, so it's possible. Further up the hill, across a pile of rocks, we come upon another mining artifact. A large hopper feeder set up for processing dirt. The dirt and the rocks go in the top and are sprayed with water. They slide down across the punch plate and the finer dirt and gold fall off the bottom while the large rocks continue down the slide as waste tailings. The kids play on the structure as I notice people have been digging under it where the gold and fine dirt would have been washed out the bottom. Why I don't blame them for digging here, there was a sign down the way clearly saying not to dig in these ruins. This is clearly not a remnant of the hydraulic mining, it is more of a modern wash plant. Perhaps it was used to further process the pay dirt from the hydraulic operation. The next day I worked cleaning out a hole on the plane down from the parking lot. Digging down until I hit the clay layer, sifting the overburden and filling bucket after bucket. My wife runs the sluice, a long tom we have set up in the Cache Creek tributary. Every sluice I have is put to use, each one feeding the next in order to catch as much of the gold as possible. Four days of digging and sluicing, panning the concentrates each evening. July is monsoon season, so it rained every evening. We put buckets under the camper downspouts to collect the water for panning the concentrates. Walking back to camp one evening, I see a guy camped right next to the no fire sign with a campfire going. Clearly he doesn't care that there are several forest fires burning in Colorado right now. All the work is produced to pan heavy with gold. Look at it shine, look at it glitter, and give a golden smile. It's Brad's Laboratory. It's kind of crazy and a little bit weird, but it's gonna be awesome sauce because it's Brad's Laboratory. It's, it's Brad's Laboratory. So grab a spot, you'll learn a lot. Maybe even how to build a robot, cause it's Brad's Laboratory.